Okay, we want to look at derivation of numerical scheme by Runge-Putter method. A differential equation can be solved numerically by many method. But let's consider the initial value problem, dy dt equals ft comma y at y of t of zero equals y and y naught. We have different method of solving the equation one above numerically, but in this study, we only consider the Runge-Kutta method. The general RK method is defined as yn plus one equals yn plus h summation i from one to s p i k i, where k i is also defined as f of s n plus c i h comma y n plus h summation from j equals to one to x a i j k g where equation two and three above are updates and internal storage respectively and s is the stage of the ronjikuta method but we want to consider ronjikuta method can be divided into two classes we have one explicit method and implicit method. For explicit method, my C1 is equals to zero and AIJ equals to zero whenever J is greater than or equals to one. For implicit method, AIJ is not equals to zero whenever J is greater than or equals to I. Now the parameter of this method can be represented in a table called Bosha tableau called Bosha tableau, but generally this table is for the explicit method. This is the Bosha tableau for explicit method. But for this course, we are only going to consider explicit method. Now let's, for explicit method, we said C1 is equals to zero, AIJ is equals to zero whenever J is greater than or equals to one. Now for K, my K is the storage. For K equals to one, we have F of T N comma Y N, since C1 will be equals to zero and A11 is going to be zero. For K equals to two, we are going to have F of T N plus C2 H comma Y N plus H A21 K1. For K equals to three, we have, for I equals to three, we have K3 equals F of T N plus C3 H comma Y N plus H into A31 K1 plus A32 K2 continue like that. That is my internal storage. Then let's now consider the stages. We are going to consider start from stage two because stage one is going to give us just our EULA scheme. That is when my K is equals to F. I'm only going to have YN plus one equals YN plus HFN, which is our normal EULA, explicit EULA. But for this, we are going to start derivation from when S is equals to two, that is stage two. Now, let's see. For stage two, my YN plus one equals YN plus H, summation I equals to one to two, BI, KI. Then my update will now be YN plus one equals YN plus, if I expand my summation up, HB1, K1 plus HB2, K2. Then I need to expand K1 and K2. My K1, still the same thing, since it's an explicit function, is still the same thing as F, FTN comma YN. Why for K2, I'm going to have FTN plus C2H comma YN plus H, a21 k1 my a22 is going to be equals to zero at that point then i'm going to use taylor series expansion to expand k2 remember from taylor series expansion of um, <clears throat> multiple or multi variable that is ft n plus a comma y n plus b is equals to f plus a f of x plus b f of y plus one divided by two factorial a square f s f s s that is the second derivative of f 
plus 2ab, the partial derivative of x, y, plus b square, partial derivative of y square, and it continues. Since I'm working on two stage Runge-Kutta method, I'm going to stop at the second step, that is the second stage. I'm not going to extend my expansion. I'm going to stop at the second term. Now, for the K2, I'm going to have F plus C2 HF of X plus HA2 1 FY. Then if I substitute K1 and K2 into my, oh, my update, I'm going to have YM plus 1 equals YM plus HB1 F plus HB2 into F plus C2 HF of S plus H A two one F Y F. Then if I color light them, I have Y M plus one equals Y M plus H into B one plus B two F plus B two C two H two F of X F X plus A two one B two H square F Y F. Then if I compare with the Taylor series expansion of Y of X M plus one, then I will see that my B1 plus B2 is equals to one. B2, C2 is equals to one over two. Then I can, I can just suggest one free parameter to make my solution very easy or my simplification very easy. If I assume C2 to be a free parameter, let's say C2 is equals to alpha, then I'm going to have B2 equals one divided by two alpha. Then the Borsha tableau of that scheme will now be in this form. Now from this form, then I can get different scheme for my second stage on Jikuta. Now, when alpha is equals to one, I'm going to have this Borsha tableau to be this. Then my scheme is going to be this. It was going to be Ym plus one equals Ym plus h over two k1 plus h over 2 k2. Then if I factorize h over 2, I have my update will now be yn plus y equals yn plus h over 2 into k1 plus k2, where k1 is ftn comma yn, and my k2 is ftn plus h comma yn plus h. And this scheme is called the EOS rule. That is where my alpha is equals to 1. What if alpha is not equals, is equals to one over two, then I have this butcher's tableau. And my scheme for that is going to be this. That is my update is going to be yn plus y equals yn plus hk2 because my b1 is equals to zero. Then I'm not going to have the term of k1. Then my k2 is going to be ftm plus h, h divided by two comma yn plus h divided by two. And this scheme is called the midpoint rule. What if my h, my alpha, what if my alpha is 2 over 3, then the butcher tableau will be in this form, and my scheme will be, my update will be y into m plus 1 equals y m plus h 3 over 4 k1 plus h 1 over 4 k2. Then if I factorize 1 over 4, I have my update y m plus one equals y m plus h divided by four into three k one plus k two where my k one is equals to ftn comma y n and my k two equals ftn plus two over three two over three h comma y m plus two over three h that is the scheme form now let's now go directly to the third stage that is all about the second stage now for the third stage on the Kuta, my update is going to be simplified in this way. Ym plus one equals Ym plus Hb1 k1 plus Hb2 k2 plus Hb3 k3. Then my k1 is still ftn comma yn since it's explicit. My k2 is ftn plus c2h comma yn plus h a21 k1. My k3 is ftm plus c 3 h ym plus h into a 31 k1 plus a 32 k2 then i can use taylor series expansion to expand k2 and k3 
my K2, Taylor series expansion of K2 is defined as this, F plus C2 H F T plus H A21 F Y plus A squared divided by two factorial C2 squared F T T plus two A21 C2 F T Y F plus A21 squared F Y Y. That is the Taylor series expansion of K2. I stop at the third term because I'm operating at the theory stage. If I'm operating at, uh, if my method is four stage, then I'm going to stop at step four of the expansion, the loss series expansion. Now let's look for K3. My K3 expansion is this, that is F plus C2 HFT plus H into A31 plus A32 FYF plus H square divided by two factorial C3 square FTT plus two into A31 plus A32 C3 FTY plus A31 plus A32 all square FYYF. That is the Taylor series expansion of K3. Then if I substitute K1, K2, and K3, we have this. This is going to be my new update. Then if I collect light term, I'm going to have this. I'm going to have this expansion. Then if I compare it with the Taylor series, expansion of y of x n plus one then i'm going to have if i compare i'm going to have b1 plus b2 plus b3 equals to one c2 b2 plus c3 b3 equals one over two a2 one b2 plus a3 one plus a3 two b3 equals one over two b2 c2 square plus B3, C3 squared equals one over three. That is equation four. B2, A3, A2, one squared plus B3, A3, one plus A3, two squared equals one over three, equation five. B3, A3, two, C2 equals one over six, equation six. But equation, you will see that equation two and three are the same. Since C2 is equals to A2, one, and C3 is equals to A3, one plus A3, two. Likewise, equation four and five, the same reason. A, C2 equals A21, and also C3 equals A31 plus A32. Then if I solve the equation together, then I can assume, to be able to solve this equation, I need to assume two free parameters. Let me assume, let's see to equals alpha, and my C3 equals beta, then, my equation three and five will become alpha B2 plus beta B3 equals one over two. Let's call that equation seven. Alpha square B2 plus beta square B3 equals one over three. Let's call it equation eight. Then if I multiply, if I multiply equation seven by minus alpha and add it to equation eight, and I will see that my B3 will be equals to two minus three alpha divided by six beta into beta minus alpha, and B2 equals one divided by two alpha minus two minus three alpha divided by six alpha into B minus alpha, beta minus alpha. Then if I substitute B2 and B3 into my equation one, I'm going to get B1 to be one minus two minus three alpha divided by six beta into beta minus alpha minus one divided by two alpha minus two minus three alpha divided by three, six into beta minus alpha. And if I substitute also B2 and um, B3 and C2 into equation six, I'm going to have my A32 to be beta into beta minus alpha divided by alpha into two minus three alpha. Then we need to get a31. We all know that C3 equals A31 plus A32. Then if I collect lighter, I see that A31 equals C3 minus A32. Then at the end of the day, A31 will be equals to what? Beta minus beta into beta minus alpha divided by alpha into two minus three alpha. Then at the end of the day, the general butcher tableau of this, if I represent this on the butcher tableau, I'm going to have this as my Butcher tableau. This is the general one. Then I can get different screen, the different scheme from this butcher tableau. But let me just fix one parameter. Then I will vary the other one. 
if my beta is equals to one, then I, I will see that my alpha cannot be equals to zero. Also, my alpha cannot be what two over three, and my alpha cannot be one. Because if alpha is equals to either zero, two over three, and one, then I'm going to have undefined. Because if I'm I'm going to have it zero at the denominator, which is make it as undefined. But let me consider some other value for alpha. If alpha is equals to one over two, I'm going to have this scheme to be this. I'm going to have my table, my butcher tablet to be this, and the updates of that will now be this. Y m plus one equals y m plus h in divide h one over six k one plus h two over three k two plus h one over six k one. Then if I factorize one over six, I have y m plus one equals y n plus h over six into k one plus four k two plus k three. That is the scheme. We can get many other schemes from this. We can make get other values for alpha, and also we can fix alpha and get very what better. Those are the way to tackle the question of that nation. Then we are going to end this here for this night.